What is up everybody, it's your boy here, and um, nothing real, really new to update on today. We, um, me and Chloe went for a ride on the boulevard, just, we went from Wakery through to Loxton, um, then to Berry, and just back to Wakery and then back home, it was about 150 k's, it was nice, it was a nice ride, but it was it was nice views, nice things to look at, but country roads are just horrible. They just bumps everywhere, cracks everywhere. There's a little bit of nice road, then a lot of bad road. Um, and even on a bike like that, that's got good suspension, nice and soft. Um, uh, you know, it's it, it's built to to hold a reasonably you know heavy weight as well, so. Even with all that, it still is pretty rough on some of the bumps. Even when I'm well, when I'm by myself, it's it's actually worse. I, I find it worse than when I have two people on there. When I have two people on there, it it, it dampens the um, bumps a bit. But even with two people, it's still not great. The roads are still shocking. You feel it so much more than what you do in a car, which is obviously expected. But I just wish there could there was somewhere around here to ride. Um, decent roads on because there's decent places to go here but the roads are just they, they are not great like it'd be nice if we could go down to the Adelaide Hills or something because it's beautiful there the roads are reasonably nice there because they're you know they're a bit more maintained and everything down there as well than what they are here but from here or from home it's about two hours or about hour and a half out hour and 45 just to get down to the hills so you know it's it's you sort of got to make a whole day of it and we didn't leave until about 12 30 so it's not like we had time to go down there and back i mean even doing what we did which is probably we left it about oh, yeah about 12 31 ish and we didn't get back to about five and all we did was stop once have lunch had you know had had something to eat and then just made our way back around to berry back down to wakery and then home so even though we didn't go that far or do that much, we still used up the majority of the day. So if you want to ride down to somewhere like like that, you've got to take a whole day out, and it's got to be a nice, decent day. Or you you have to be you know ninety percent positive or one hundred percent positive that's going to be a decent day because you you don't want to get down there, and then and it starts raining or it starts becoming real windy because then you almost just want to head home because you know riding in that sort of rain or wind it just makes it really uncomfortable and you can't you know keep your speed around the corners or anything like that because you know when it's raining or windy you've got to ride to the the weather so you know you have to go a bit slower and it sort of makes it a bit boring and it just makes it a bit, little bit less pleasant when you're riding as well if you're getting wet or you you know to, to to ride in a straight line sometimes it's that it's that windy you're leaning you're leaning the whole time just to stay straight and that's not very enjoyable so yeah even though it was a nice ride it's just i just wish the roads were just a bit better up up here they're just really shite and there's just some really sharp bumps that you know, I, I try to keep my eye on the road. Well, I, I keep my eye on the road the whole time, but I'm always scanning my, my area as well, so I'm not exactly looking at the bitumen road that's di directly in front. So sometimes I can't ride around the the bumps. Sometimes I miss them and I hit them, and it just about you know pile drives your spine up through the top of your head. So yeah, it's it's good but bad because it's it's nice views and it's nice and open road and it's usually clear visuals so i can keep an eye on if there's any wildlife or any other cars or anything and there's lots of um places to pull pull over as well so so that's always a good thing too but yeah it's just kind of suck well it, it it sucks that the the roads are just shite but other than that didn't really get up to a whole lot um i think i'm leaning and steering more towards keeping the boulevard at the moment because the way i see it is you know i'm neither of us are getting enough constant work to be able to go out and get a house loan and be confident that we can always make repayments and i think that would be such a silly idea if i sold everything i have at the moment had all this money in the bank but not be able to go and get a loan because then i've got no way to you know go out and do some something all, all we're able to do is you know drive the cars or sit at home, play games and, you know, watch 
TV, which is first world problems. But yeah, it just that's why I'm I'm sort of you know that that doesn't mean I'm I'm not I'm not not gonna sell it down the track. But just right right now, I think it's absolutely pointless because it's not going to benefit me in any way except by having more cash in the bank. So yeah, that's sort of the thoughts. At, at the moment with the the boulevard i've still got the vtr the the yellow one up for sale as well um that hasn't had i've had one hit on that in the past pff, i don't know how long i've had had it up for maybe three months three or four months or something like like that so you know that doesn't i don't think i'm going to be able to sell that the market's not too friendly at the moment towards bikes um and I think people are sort of hoarding their money a bit at the moment because of all the COVID and you, you know you you never know when there's going to be a bit of an outbreak and you're going to have to take time off of work. So it's, it's a smart thing to have, you know, some cash in the bank just in case you, you know, you're not going to have work for a while. But yeah, so that's why it's sort of a bit of a struggle to try and sell that. I, I do, I feel that I've got a fair price on it, but it is a 90, it's a 90, 97 and it's got 101,000 on it. So I can see why people would sort of steer clear of it, but not really because 101,000 Ks is not that much even for a bike engine that's not that much at all and it's been very well looked after and even though i've had it for a small amount of time i have dumped a bit of money into it as well to make it an even better bike and make sure that it won't break so i'm just hoping that i'm able to sell that but if not then i'll probably i might even end up just keeping it and just put it away in the shed because something like that is will start appreciating in in value in the near future because they don't make bikes like that anymore you know the sport v twin is almost a thing of the past now like you have your nakeds and all, all that but i just think that everything seems to be steering towards your four cylinders and yeah even probably three three your sport three cylinders are probably becoming more popular at the moment so yeah i might even end up just storing it and then just ride it every you know maybe every few months or, or something because it is a nice bike to ride but i'm a bit fat for it at the moment because when i sit on it, all the pressures on my wrists and it really hurts so that's sort of the main reason why i'm selling this because i can't ride it at the current moment if i lost some weight then i'd probably love riding it around but yeah um other than that <clears throat> that's about it so I hope you're having a good day. I hope you've had a good day. Go and have a good day. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow.